Larry Damon, a champion cross-country skier, runner, sailor, and a musician, has spent his careers working as hard as he needed to be the best he could be. Larry began winning running and cross-country ski titles while still a student at Burlington High School. A four-event skier, he won the state slalom championships and finished second in cross-country. This garnered attention from the University of Vermont where he enrolled as a student in 1951. To go to the ski hill after school uh, on the golf course at, at uh, Burlington Country Club, uh, I, in order to get home I had to ski about a mile uh, and skied most of it uh, on the golf course, then had to walk down a road to get to the, at my house. So, yeah, and this uh, we did this nearly every night in the winter because it was fun, and uh, you'd follow a track back to the. So I kind of got into the idea, and then we UVM ski team used to ski on the golf course, train there, and we saw the guys that were doing cross country and thought they were kind of cool. They were running around and just kind of watched them and wondered what they were, why they were running so hard. <laughs> then I found out why. <laughs> At UVM, he demonstrated his versatility as both a runner and a skier by captaining both sports and breaking many records. In 1955, Larry won UVM's first national collegiate skiing championship. He received the Wasson Athletic Award for Excellence in Athletics and Academics and the Don Johnson Memorial Trophy for his excellence in the sport of cross country. Larry, an engineering student, pursued some additional classes while waiting for his chance at the 1956 Olympics in Cortina, Italy. It was very interesting. I, I, had, that was, I had my finest hour there, my finest games. I, I didn't do any better than other in, ensuing games, but. I was eager and, and uh, didn't know what was going on and, and uh, I thought I was good and, and I got in and I went very well in my first race up to a point. I went way too fast but nevertheless I was going very well for a while. <laughs> and I was very happy with, with that and excited and realized I could do it. It's just a matter of more training and we, we were the United States was behind in the training of that sport at the time. So we'd just go out and train till we got sick and then recover and think that was good, but it, it isn't good to do that. The U.S. team was slowly progressing, but Larry decided to enlist in the Army after the Games from 1957 to 1959. In the Army, he competed in biathlon and continued in cross-country running. The Army installed the biathlon team at Camp Hale, the former training ground of the famed 10th Mountain Division, where he learned to shoot and manage high altitudes. It's, it's easier to get to be a good shooter than to be a, become a good skier. So they take the skiers and try and make them shoot well. I didn't shoot very well, but um, I did well enough to, to win the, the North American Championship the year before the 1960 Olympics. And I, I beat the Swedish guy who uh, won the gold medal the next year. Yeah, I had a good day. <laughs> he continues his winning streak, finishing 10th in the Boston Marathon in 1961. He went back to the cross-country skiing Olympic team for the 1964 and 1968 Games. He trained in Norway from 1965 through 1970, improving his technique and absorbing the tradition of skiing in Norway. He competed in running events and also captured the 1968 Norwegian Sailing Championships in the Snipe class. Preparations for the 1968 Olympic Games prevented him from competing in the Sailing World Championships. To all of these competitive endeavors, Larry applied his love of music. I think in a, an individual sport like cross country or running on foot, there's a certain flow to your movements that, are, that have to be pretty pretty smooth and, and artistic and if there are more if they're artistic instead of jerky and and forceful they you flow better and you go better just because of that and then you can use your strength more efficiently in 1970 Larry came back to Vermont and started instructing at traps hoping to pass on his love of the sport he served as the director of skiing and then decided instructing was where his interests lay well, of course, you know, it depends on want. If they want it, 
uh, and they can't do it very well, then I'm their guy, see? Because I can help them as much as, as anyone, I think. And I, have, I joke a lot, and I'm keeping it light, and uh, it's better to keep the people smiling than to teach them anything. <laughs> and that's, and, but that helps, that helps you learn, rather than being uh, forceful. Because my, you have to know that your job is to teach people to have fun at skiing and to hook them on skiing, and not to make them into race champions. That's a coaching thing. Instruction is different. Larry has served on UVM's athletic council. During his tenure, he helped make sports fair and accepted while ensuring that students were getting their education. Vermont Ski Museum Hall of Fame welcomes Larry Damon.